I decided to look into the armed services um, after 9-11. Uh, in 2011, I was deployed to Afghanistan. We were outside the wire one day, and we got hit by an ID. Wow, what a what a feeling that was. It's hard to describe, but I remember being um, tossed up into the air. Um, felt like 50 feet, it was probably more like five. Hit the ground like I like I'd just been run over by a dump truck was amputated on the field about halfway down uh, my shin. I'll tell you right now, without, uh, without my team's help that day, I wouldn't be sitting here. They got that tourniquet on my leg and they, they stopped the bleeding and they saved my life that day. And the, the gravity of my situation kind of started to, to fall on me and I started to think about um, what the next step was, what was gonna happen now. Was I gonna be able to do the job that I love to do, be a husband to my wife, a father to my children? And then this, this guy walks by and said, uh, eh, you know, I've seen worse, um, you'll be fine. This guy didn't think it was a big deal. He thought I was going to be able to beat it, so I was going to beat it. I was going to find a way to win. My real motivation is to just keep crashing through barriers. It's redefining what is possible. The body will follow where the mind takes it. It takes a lot of determination and grit to be an athlete in the Warrior Games. For everybody that witnesses it and internalizes it, it's just a daily reminder that we can do far more than we think we can. Mass Sergeant Benjamin George Siegel, United States Air Force.